officially begins back in 2015. Uh, we're hunting on the same chunk of public land, and little did we know we were going to re-encounter the same deer we had the previous year. It was a pretty exciting hunt the year before. We were on like day three. I think Bill had filled out uh, pretty early in the hunt. But day yeah. two, day three, day something two, like I that. Got a nice one. And so he was behind the camera. I was in front of the boat, and we went down to hunt one of our double stand spots that we had hung earlier in the year and um, early in the morning we looked uh, looked down to the down to the west and here was a nice four by five buck nice three and a half year old chasing a doe around and he ended up bringing her our bringing her over our direction she ran through and he came came right behind her uh, stopped in the lane just short of where I needed him to stop I was able to draw back and get a shot but as it happens I hit a tree branch I decided to hunt this set again on the last day and we heard the deer coming across from the river so we hit the horns and threw out a few grunts and, and here come a nice buck and it happened to be it was the same deer yeah um, that I had missed just a couple days prior there so um, we had him coming in he was making a scrape, uh, rubbing the tree, and I threw a snort wheeze out at him. And he just was a little too far out yet. And he come in to 40 yards, and he was coming on a string. And uh, he looked back behind him. We heard some, some commotion going on in the brush, and a doe was running through. It looked like maybe another buck was chasing her. So he, he flipped around yeah. and took the off and yeah. ran out of there. And so we didn't get a crack at him. 2015, but uh, it really set the story up for what happened here this year. Well, it's about 5 o'clock. We got set up in this river unit here. And Joe's just seen a big buck over there in the pitch thicket. So, I hope we didn't bust him out of here too bad. Earlier, we seen about 4 or 5 does in here. So we hope well, this buck hangs around. It's so calm tonight, this is going to be a tough one, but I hope we get that big one, he steps back out, we'll see what happens. November. I think it's the fifth. Kind of lost track of days. But it is hot. It's 78. And Joseph and I are getting a couple different sets hung here. Been kind of struggling here to get something figured out while we've been out here. But things are going to start turning around. We got a fresh start. So 
Let me get this done. We're walking back in here. And, uh, I'm hoping no one's back here because uh, it's a long hike, probably a mile and a half in or more. So we're going to see what happens here and uh, get a set hung for one of these mornings and uh, just sit here tonight and see what happens. Well, I got set up here in this spot.
It's pretty wild back here. I might have to sit all day, I don't know. But I'd like to get that Wani shirt nice. Big, tall, four by four. smoked a giant and my GoPro wasn't going dang it he come in and rubbed a tree it's a monster Joe's Riley I got your giant oh as calm as I could I knew I smoked that buck and there's the arrow to prove it and the proof's laying right back there I'm waiting for Joe's. I cannot wait to show you. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we planned for. What do you think? Water 30 giant down. I was howling like a coyote. That was you howling? I was trying to get you out of the tree. The big one? The monster. Well, after me and Josie have had a lot of hard days, we've been here since last Thursday. And it is Tuesday. And uh, it was cold this morning. We had a front come through. And the uh, pressure did rise really high. And we hunted this morning, seen lots of action I did. I couldn't get much on film. It was just too tough. The bucks were with does and they were chasing through the thickets back and forth. Made it real tough. And I got this guy at 3.30 today. We barely got crawled in. And he come in raking a tree. And I hardly had any time to get ready to do anything. I'm not sure if I got the kill on film or not, I think the GoPro went dead. Uh, the card got full, but oh, what a mega giant. Pretty sure I seen him this morning. I'm so blessed to have this deer in my hand, I'll tell you that. I can't even, the words, can't even explain it. It's unreal. One of the best trips me and Joel's ever had. It's like an epic adventure. But I got your deer, Rypie. <laughs> Man. What a giant. Giant. <laughs> Good what job, a, brother. Yeah, what a year, buddy. Wow. Thanks to everybody that helps me make all this possible. Couldn't do without good family. And my brother, we, we just get fired up and can't quit talking about this stuff when it comes time. It's an all year thing, but public land giant. Public land, what, what a trophy. Better get a tag on him here and get him packed out. <laughs> we got some two mile walk, <laughs> long walk back. I know that. Congratulations.